ChatGPT or any GPT is great for helping you design and develop courses if we use it correctly. And that's kind of the big if. Are we using it correctly? Are we using it to the best of its ability? If you're an instructional designer, instructor, professor, teacher, anybody in the education space, and you want a little bit more, a lot more, not just a little bit, if you want a lot more from your GPT, then this is the video for you. If you've been getting those lackluster results, kind of meh, it's okay kind of results when you type in your general prompt to help you create or outline a course, then this video is really for you. So please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the, in the comments section what type of content that you would like. So let's go ahead and jump into this. The first thing that we want to start doing is thinking of GPT, the GPT, chat GPT, Copilot, whatever you're using as your assistant. And just like whether the assistant is human or the assistant is technological, context is really what helps it succeed. We want to be able to give good context and have a back and forth conversation discussion with our assistant to give them the best possible content, context to the content as well for it to be a success. So in other words, for us to get the best content we can from our assistant, we have to kind of enter into a discussion where they can ask questions, we can answer questions, and we can even pose questions to it. That's how we get the best from our assistant, whether it's a human assistant or technology assistant. So how do we create a prompt that does all of this? Well, it's, it's fairly simple. I use a modified um, magic formula. Microsoft created a magic formula for prompt writing. It's kind of funny, but uh, they did. And there is a formula that we can use. And I've kind of modified theirs. And the first step is role, then context, expectation, sources, and goal. That's what you want. Those five things. So if we think about it, role plus context plus expectations plus sources, plus your goal, create that prompt that you can then write out. It's going to be fairly lengthy sometimes and then put in a prompt library so you can reuse as you want because you want to keep these types of prompts so you can reuse them uh, whenever you want to, whenever you need to. Let's jump right in and get into writing this prompt. So what is the role or what is a good description for a role? Well, that really depends on you. Take a look at what I've written here. What I've written is... You're a friendly and helpful instructional designer assistant helping instructional designers, IDs, plan and create lessons and courses. Your tone is friendly, professional, and concise. We don't want it to, to talk too awful much. We want it to be concise. And then here we have the context as well. You can see the context is kind of lengthy. So, and the uh, expectations as well. Those are fairly lengthy also. A couple key points in each one is in the context, you're an expert in designing, engaging, and interactive courses for any modality. So that's part of it. First, introduce yourself, then it's telling it how to act, and then it gives it permission to ask any clarifying questions if needed, and then it goes through a question and answer sort of process. And this prompt, I'm going to link it in our uh, in the first comment in here. It'll be linked, so if anybody wants the actual prompt, you can just use it. And then we're going to give it the expectations and sources. And I'm keeping the sources kind of minimal. I'm going to say use Bloom's taxonomy when writing learning objectives. And I'm going to tell it at the end here to uh, utilize Bloom's taxonomy again to make sure we get the right learning objectives. But then create it utilizing active learning principles. And that's really the key. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this directly into the GPT. I am just pasting that prompt in and it's doing its magic thing. It's guessing, hey, hello, I'm here to help you with planning, creating lessons, courses. What project are you working on today? So let's uh, let's build a course. And then let's see. Let's see if it walks us through a process where we critically think or if it just blurts out anything. Oh, it sounds like fun. So it's, it is using that personality. So how will the course be delivered? Will it be instructor-led, asynchronous? You know what? I want this to be self-paced. It'll be self-paced and online. Oh, and then it's going to ask me which one I prefer. Great. Could you describe the students? Thanks for sharing that. Could you describe the students who will be taking the course? We're going to say we'll just pick one at random. We can still do those two and say, yes, the students are the students are professionals and they drink coffee. Now, this is kind of a silly example, but you know how it can work together. So it's updating its memory each time. Thank you. How long will the course be? Are you thinking a short module or more in-depth course? So this one probably, uh, I'm thinking two modules. 
two modules. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And I'm just guessing, just throwing stuff in there so we have a conversation. Uh, already have some existing knowledge? Yes. Uh, they currently drink coffee. They currently make general coffee. I don't even know if that's a thing. They make general coffee. They, they make coffee in general. Okay, learning goals. Now, you know what? This is where it can be really uh, not entertaining but really uh, helpful because now I can just say, well, you know what? Can you help me with that? Help me with the uh, learning goal. Boom. There we go. Certainly. Okay. By the end of this course, we'll be able to identify key factors that influence quality. Oh, okay. Identify key factors. So how about something more, oh, something at a, on a higher level, higher Bloom's taxonomy level. Let's just say that. See if it knows what I mean. Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, great idea. So by those students, we'll be able to analyze the factors that influence uh, coffee. Um, so evaluate, uh, evaluate different brewing methods and create personalized approach to consistently making a great cup of coffee. Uh, verbs create deeper thinking. Okay, great, but we have too many verbs there, right? Let's just use, just use the... Uh, uh, let's see, create the create a a personalized approach, and I'm just going to copy and paste that. Create a personalized approach, bang, right there. Then it's going to update. Perfect. Now, do you have any specific text researchers? Uh, not really. Not really. Do you have a suggestion? And then it keeps on rolling for the course. Oh, okay, got some books. Oh, the World Atlas of Coffee website, Perfect Daily Grind. Okay, cool. Uh, they can provide. Uh, what, what would you like to incorporate? Yes, yes, the websites. Okay, so I got the websites in there. So now I have that context that's further coming, or content that's further coming in. Okay, module one. Here we go. Activities. Have some create a journal documenting factors they tried and then affects. Uh, on the coffee. So they're actually making coffee and they're journaling the effectiveness of it. So we have all kinds of great ideas. Now we can go in and say, okay, can you expand on uh, the assignment or give me directions? Can you expand? Whoops, expand on and give me directions. to use for this. And I'm going to keep that misspelling in there. Let's see what it comes up with. Boom. So you see it's just a back and forth. And now it's giving us the assignments, the instructions, and it's up to us now. We got this. This saved us a lot of time. So this saved us a lot of time. Now we go in and we start to adjust, tweak, and have more of a conversation back and forth with specific pieces once we have the course laid out how we want it. So it's really, think of it like an assistant. So it's not telling me what to do. We're having a back and forth and it's helping me. So it's my assistant to create this course. And it can do that very well. We can get scripts, do all kinds of other stuff with it. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, give me a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section what other content you would like.